down here. What are you doing down here? Do you hear me? I said house and far. Robbie? Robbie! What are you talking about? Left my teddy behind the back place and I want to go back to him. Come on. You're taking me home. I won't go. Come here. It's all right. I'm not taking you home. Well, go this way. Is Robbie with you? No. You haven't seen him then? No. I can't think where he's got to. I'm sorry, he hasn't been here. Have any of you kids seen Robbie? No, no, no Mr. Campbell. Campbell. Come here. Come on, come on. Get down there. Shut up and let me think, will you? How old is he? He'll be seven next month. And you're the parents? Uh, no, he's adopted. Has he ever run off like this before? Never. I had no cause to. There's no reason you can think of then? Not to run away for. Well, he ought to have known better than that. We'd only have told him off. That's all we'd have done. You told him off for what? Oh, well, he'd been playing with matches again. I'm always telling him not to. But this time he set the kitchen curtains alight. The wee scamp. <laughs> that may be it. Or it may be just a lark, it usually is. But to be gone all this time, and without his supper. It's no like him. It's no like the laddie at all. Well, Mrs. Campbell, I shouldn't worry. We'll send out a description, and you'll have him back in no time. Oh, I hope so. I'll never get a wink of sleep. Well, it isn't the first time a kid's run off, you know. No cause for alarm. He'll be all right. Staring at. Get to sleep. Tonight. Perhaps they won't hurt you. Get to sleep. I burned once a white one. It died. But it didn't really die. He killed it. He didn't like it, so he killed it. Don't shut up. I... Why 
you stay to me like that for? No, he was wearing a raincoat, but I didn't catch what they were saying. Then what happened? Well, the next time I looked round, they'd left, with Mr. Mills still owing for his drinks. You didn't know this other man? No, never seen him before. I knew him. Bloke called Lloyd. Third engineer or mate or something on a ship. Know where he lives? No. He only came in here once or twice. He used to bring his girl with him. Kept to himself. His wife? Don't know. Right, well, get on to the yard and ask them to circulate the name and description. You know, the usual thing. Patrol cars, railway police, pawn shops, the lot. Yes, sir. Coffee and a packet of wood bones, please. You can forget the wood bones. Give me two pies, will you? Better get you something to eat. Yeah. You don't like me, do you? Do you? No. Why don't you go off home, then? I don't want to go home. You set the house on fire, didn't you? Didn't you? Yes. You know what they'll do to you if they catch you, don't you? Well, if you want me to get you out of this chair, I shall need some money. I've nice things I could get home. Yeah, I've got some money at home too, but I don't want to go there either. But you could go to my place and get the money. A little boy half your size could do what you've got to do. It's easy. Go upstairs till you come to flat 90. Ring the bell. If no one answers, you'll let yourself in with that key. All right? Yes. Go into the bedroom. In the top drawer of the chest, you'll find a pay packet with some money in it. It's tucked under some shirts, all right? Got that, yes. too? Now, don't forget what I told you. Be as quick as you can, and no talking to anyone. And don't run, because that's bad, all right? Yes. Get along with you. Oh. There. That's better. Ooh, well, 
We come there. Now, what's your name? Hmm? Oh, come on now. What number do you live at? I'll take you home to your mum. Thank you, Mrs. Lloyd. Did you have a row with your husband? I didn't say so. How much cash had he on him? Do you think I go through his pockets? Is this the only other room? Yes. Do you mind if I look in that cupboard? Under the bed if you want to. Expecting him home last night? No. You glad to see him? Yes. Where do you think he'd be now? If I knew him, he'd be dead. They wouldn't have let Sir you Bobby, go. Sir Bobby's here. I did. I saw him. But did they see you? I don't know. What? Have you got the money? No. I'm going in there for a minute. You wait here, all right? Run away from school, son. There's no need to look like that. We won't lock you up this time. Where do you live, Sonny? I've got all the old clothes I could do with. But that's not old, it's brand new. Sailor, aren't you? What gives you that idea? Uh, yeah. Look, if I wanted to buy this coat, it cost me 15 quid. You want to sell it? I can't loan you nothing on it. All right, then I'll sell it. All right. What's your name and address? What's that got to do with it? I've got to find someone who wants the coat, then I can let you know. I want the money now. If you'll wait a minute, there's someone might give you a price for it. He was in this morning. I'll uh, get him on the telephone. Won't take a minute. M2GW calling B5. M2GW calling B5. Proceed at once to 189 Vauxhall Bridge Road, pawnbroker's shop, and detain man answer the description of Lloyd.
Hello, B5. Your message received. Make an immediate search of area near pawn shop. Over. He's blown, sir. He can't get far. He must be skinned. Oh, cha cha, clumsy little fool. Yes, so am I. Good to have my dinner. Come on, you and get me. Can you spare one? Sure. Oh, what? No, go on, take it. I get you. Got some nice meat pies. Do you like a nice hot pie, dear? Butter roll and cheese. Roll and cheese and a glass of milk. What about an ice cream then for the little boy? There's strawberry, chocolate, or mixed fruit. No ice cream, that's the lot. And for you? Nothing. Look, I haven't got the money for ice cream or pie. I just haven't got it. That's all there is to it. Oh, do you think I don't want some hot food and a shave? I... I'll have to get that money, that's all. This end or the other end? Oh, never mind. Go and hide where I go.
one squawk out of you. You rotten little... Chris. Chris, why did you do it? You ask me. But you... You done for yourself. You should have thought of that. <laughs> Shut up. What are you going to do? Chris, I loved you, only you, and that's the truth. Chris, the police have been here. Do you think I don't know? They're outside now. You told them, didn't you? You brought them here. I didn't, I didn't. I got in, didn't I? They won't be here again for morning. Couldn't you stay? Just a little while. away. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. Chris, wait. This, this if you want it. It's any use to you. They're real. I don't know, some do, some don't. Come on.
What are those people doing over there? Getting the corn in. Why? Have you been in the country before? No, what's corn? Well, you eat it. It's a woodlouse. Can I have it? Yes, if you want to. Here, put it in there. Oh, lorry. Where do you want to be? Where are you making for? North. You got room for one in a bit? Okay. Jump in the back. Thanks. Come on, up you get. How far are we going? Oh, a long way. Where are we going? To my brother's place, if we can. We should be safe there for a bit. Do you know where I want Pussycat? No. Where I want Pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea green boat. It took some honey and plenty of money wrapped up in a five-thumb note. The owl looked up to stars above and sang to a small guitar. Oh, lovely pussy, oh, pussy, my love. What a beautiful pussy you are, you are, you are. What a beautiful pussy you are. Mrs. Lloyd, we have to ask these questions because we want to trace your husband. We're not saying he did kill Mills. But until we can find him and hear what he's got to say, the evidence is very strong against him. If you don't know where he is, why should I know? Is there any way you think he might be? I've no idea. Where do you think he'd make for? I don't know. Eddie, uh, is there any other woman he was... No. All right, I'm sorry. What about his family? Are his parents alive? I married him, not his family. I asked you if his parents are alive. I don't know. I don't believe you. Please yourself. No, thanks. I'll smoke my own. As it happens, I don't know. He left home when he was a kid and he's never seen them since. Thank you. That's something, anyway. Any brothers or sisters? You needn't thank me. Any brothers or sisters? Do you think I'd help you find him, even if I could? I'm his wife. All right, you're his wife. And what was your relationship with Mills? What are you getting at? The reason he was killed. How well did you know Mills? I told you, I went in his office. That doesn't answer my question. I repeat, how well did you know him? No better than any of the other girls in the office, if that's what you mean. Who paid for this? You, your husband, or Mills? I did. What did it cost you? Mrs. Lloyd, do you think your domestic infidelities would matter to us? We're investigating a crime. Murder. And to cover up the truth about your own relationship with the dead man, which might help us, you're fogging us off with a lot of half-truths and evasions. How's it going to help you or me or him? What do you think I feel like? It's done now, isn't it? It's done, but it's not finished, Mrs. Lloyd. Now, can you tell me this? What was your husband doing with a young boy the night he broke into your flat? Do you know who the boy was? No. You knew nothing about it? No. Would well, you recognize this? No. You've never seen it before? No. It means nothing to you no, at all? No, I do. All right, will you please wait outside? You got those parents who reported lost children? Yes, sir, they're here now. Right, we'll see them. Now, do any of you recognize this? It's Robbie's. Had he any special fear of fire? I mean, had he ever been burnt or left in a burning house? Not that I know of. Are you sure you can think of no reason why he should have run away? Well, what reason could there be? Well, perhaps he was frightened of being punished. Was he often punished? If anything, I'd say we rather spoiled him. How? Ah. Oh, you bought him too many sweets, toys, is that what you mean? Can I see his toys? Well, now that you mention it, he wasn't really a boy for toys. And those we bought him were either broken or lost in five minutes. If he didn't like toys, why on earth should a boy of his age run off with a teddy bear? <laughs> well, that blessed old bear. He'd even take it to bed with him. Why, did it mean something special? Who gave it to him? I don't know. He always had it. He had it when he came. Did his mother give it to him? I couldn't say. Watch your here. Thank you for coming, Mr. Campbell. Is there any news of him? Yes. No, thanks. 
Now you're both here, I've got something to break to you. We've reason to believe that Robbie is with a man who's wanted in connection with a crime that was committed in the cellar where that toy was found. I'm going to be very frank with you. He may be in great danger. He's in the hands of a man who's trying to escape with his life. The point is, why is Robbie with this man? Of his own free will, why? Why didn't he come home? I can't make it out. Was he happy with you? We did all we could for him. We gave him a home, didn't we? Yes, but what kind of a home? Were you fond of him? Or was he frightened of what you might do to him for burning the curtains? Not of me. Sykes, the name is. They'll do you. It's up there, first on the lift. Well, thanks. And thanks for the lift as well. Okay. Cheerio. Goodbye. Is it just for the night, or do you want to stay longer? No, just for the night. I see. Would you like breakfast in the morning? Uh, yes, please. I'll bring it out to you. Sure. That's the bathroom up there. Well, there you are. And if there's anything you want, just ask. Thank you. Oh, you're a tired boy. You've come a long way. We came by road. Well, I never. How old are you? Well, front for him on the train. Yeah. And I hope your mummy won't be missing you. Oh, she'll be glad to get rid of him. Well, I can't believe that. Well, everything's fine. Thanks very much. Good night. Good night. I hope you'll be all right. Good night. Now, look, I've got to go out. You'll have to stay here for a bit, all right? Why can't I come? Well, because you can't. I shan't be long, I promise you. You wait here till I get back. Where's your daddy? Has he gone out? Well, never mind. I'll get you to bed. Here, you get your clothes off, and then we'll have a nice hot bath, shall we? Oh, you are a slow coach. I thought you were going to get undressed. Poor big boy like you. You don't want me to help you? That's a good boy. Is this all your luggage? You hop into the bath and I'll see if I can find your pyjamas, hmm? That's it. Well, I don't know who packed for you, but I can see it wasn't your mother. Oh, what on earth are you going to sleep in? Are the clothes you've got on all you brought with you? Haven't you got a toothbrush? marks on your back. Have you been thrashed? Who did it to you? Who was it? Was it him? No. Then who was it? I broke a window. You broke a window. It's all gloves. So it is. Hello, Jack. Hello. Jack, is that you? Yes. This is Chris. Your brother, Chris. Look, I'm coming up by road to you. Who is it? Who do you say it is? It's Chris. Christopher. Chris? W where are you speaking from? I'm coming up by road. Can I stay with you for a bit? What's the matter? What's happened? Jack, I'm in a bit of a jam. The, the police are after me. It's only for a bit until I can find somewhere else. What have you done? Will you give me an answer? Yes. My Robbie, 
You do look a man, don't you? What a big boy you are. There. Oh, I don't know what your mummy would say if she could see this vest. I haven't got a mummy. Well, Robbie, if you haven't got a mummy who looks after you, he is your daddy, isn't he? Thanks for looking after him. You shouldn't have troubled. It wasn't any trouble. I'll get this washed and clean for the morning. Come on, come to bed. Messing about my kitchen's got a nerve. Hey, what's the matter with you? Get into bed. <sighs> what are you so scared of? Come on, get into bed. Come on. Come on. Come on. What do you think I was going to do? Can you chew up or something? Mm hmm? Get your feet down there, you are. Yeah. That will still make you ship shape and see worthy. Here's your protein. That's it. Now let me see you. Come on, smile. That's it, get up. And you get. Tell me a story. I don't know any. Just one. <laughs> you get to sleep. Once upon a time, long, long ago, there was a terrible giant. And he lived with his father and his mother in a hollow mountain. And he was so big that when he used to walk, the, the whole earth shook. And he used to eat sheep, whole, wool and all. And when the sheepdog used to snap at his ankles, he just used to brush them away like flies. But the bigger he got, well, the more hungry he became. And in the end, well, there just weren't enough sheep to go around the family. So he decided to go to sea, become a pirate, and, and eat whales instead. So he pulled up a big forest of trees, and he made a boat. And the boat was so big that, that when he sailed away, he pulled England into the sea behind him. And that's how it became an island, because he'd forgotten to untie it. If I'm not telling this very well, it's because it all happened such a long time ago, and I've forgotten. After a bit, he got tired of the sea. Didn't seem to be getting what he wanted out of being a sailor. Well, he couldn't go home. Jobs were hard to get in those days. But he was sick of the sea and very lonely. Ted, I want to talk to you at once. I'm worried. What's up? Come in the kitchen. That is the end of the news. And here is a police message. New facts have come to light about the man now, wanted by the police about? in connection with the cellar murder. Wait a minute. It is now believed he may be accompanied by a child. Ted, I've let the back room to a man and a boy, and I don't know what to make of them. That poor child's back's covered with the marks of a lash, absolutely covered. And when I asked him where he lived, he seemed too frightened to answer. And another thing, when they arrived, the man talked about the little boy's mother. But the boy says he hasn't got a mother. Ted, we ought to go to the police. How long are they staying? Oh, just the night. Did you get him to sign the book? No, it was late. I thought the morning would do. We've got to be careful, you know. Can't go fetching the police unless we've got good reason. Might find ourselves in trouble. But I don't believe it is his child, not for a moment. You should have seen the state of the little boy's back and his dirty little clothes, the way he talks and everything. What if it isn't? There may not be anything wrong with that. Now, listen. In the morning, you get him to sign the book. Then, if you still want to, you go and tell the police and leave it to them to make inquiries their own way. But you can't fetch the police around here if you aren't dead sure of something, can you? Well, I don't like it. So one day, he sailed up the river into London. And that night, when he went ashore, he met a girl. 
She wasn't like any other girl he'd ever seen before. She was... a princess. She had a way of... It's difficult to explain, really. She... Anyway, he fell in love with her and... she married him. And then everything was different. There was her to come home to and... a home. Everything was fine. Then one day he came home unexpectedly. He saw her there standing in front of a mirror... With... looking more beautiful than he'd ever seen her before. In all her best clothes. Clothes he'd never seen before. Then I found something out. Something she'd been doing. I went to see the man and... He laughed. Laughed straight in my face. Then he said... What do you think girls marry sailors for? Go fetch the priest. We're sent to ask for people. Just a minute, Robbie. You go. I'm not leaving you alone with that man upstairs. You've got to keep the child away from him. You must go. Robbie. Robbie. Just a minute, dear. Robbie. Robbie, come here, dear. Look, you're all twisted up. I don't know how you're getting to that stage. What's the matter with you? Breakfast won't be long. I'll bring it up to you. I sent him down to see if I could borrow the paper. He was all twisted up. We can't send you out like that, can we, Robbie? Can I? Yes, my husband's just gone out to get one. He'll bring it up to you. I saw the boy delivering. Oh, that boy. He'll be forgetting his own name next. It's the house next door that's cancelled, not us. I'd like to see that one. It's yesterday's. My husband won't be long. Robbie! Robbie, you want to see the chickens? You'll make your husband. Stay close to me, Robbie. Stay close. Robbie! Oh, no!
You're all right. You're all right now. I won't leave you again, I promise you. Gosh, you get me a fright. You can't keep yourself out of trouble for a minute, can you? Left my wood gloves behind. That's a terrible thing to do. We'll have to get you another one somewhere else, shall not we? and then you suck <laughs> There's a carrot. They make you see in the dark. You see those mountains over there? Well, that's where we're going, right across there. And we've got to travel at night so that nobody can see us. And we've got to travel fast. <laughs> had two and a half days. We know his name, his wife, his occupation, his ship. The only record we have on him, sir, apart from his job, is his birthplace. I don't have to stress the implications involved in this case. All right. No. Damn it, I don't understand. Why does he still hang on to this boy? Why? He's making himself ten times the target. He may still have a use for the boy. Yes, but what use? As a sort of blackmail against capture? It's not a very pretty thought. It's appalling. The press have had the bare facts, but it's not enough. It's got to be rammed home to the public that the life of a boy of six is in the hands of a killer. A man who'd buy his own safety with the life of a child. Let there be no place where this man can hide or rest in safety. No cellar, no barn, no ditch, no field. Unless he's going to starve, sooner or later Lloyd must show himself to some person, somewhere. Do you want raw egg or raw carrot? Both. Oops. 
on the other end. Did you have a good sleep? Yes. Now, look, we've lost a lot of time. If we wait till it's dark again, we'll never get there. We have to risk it in the daylight. Should have been into those mountains by now. Why did you have to follow me? I told you not to. Why am I going to be settled with you all the time? It's my life!
right, all right, I'm coming now. Sorry to bring you down, Mr. McDougall, but your front window's open. Oh, is it? Thank you. Right, I'll close it. Thank you, Alec. Ah, well then, good night. Good night to you, Alec. Who is it, Jamie? It was only Alec. You left the window open. I'm doing. Will I make you a cup of tea? Thanks, Jamie. Get us some food, will you? I didn't know when you were coming. I better get him to bed. Chris, you're not staying here. Why, have the police been here? No. What do you mean, then? I've got myself to look after. 
Are you telling me to clear out? Look, I'm asking you to let me sleep here. I'm done in. I'll have gone by the morning. I can't do it. You're not going to turn the kid out, too. Jack, you can't. You don't know the people around here like I do. What have they got to do with it? Listen. It's taken me ten years, ever since I've been here, to get myself known to them. If you're a stranger, they don't trust you. They're a queer lot. I've worked hard, and at last I've won their respect, and I'm doing well for myself, after all these years. Look, you can tell them this if it means all that to you. I came here tonight and you turned me away. You didn't even feed me. But you took the child in out of kindness. Nobody's going to blame you for that. You can't turn him out. Nobody down here knows I'm a connection of yours. Don't lose any sleep, Jack. I'll never tell anyone that you're a brother of mine. That's the end of it. We're not going any farther. No more getting tired and hungry. I'm not hungry. I know you're not. But as soon as you've had a nice sleep, we're going to find somebody to look after you properly. We can. You don't understand, do you? Nobody's going to knock you around anymore. And they won't take you back to that place you came from, not unless you want to go back. You're not going to leave me. I've got to, Robbie. You promise. I know, I know. But I did something very wrong, and I can't get away from it. I promised you said you wouldn't leave me. I know I promised you. I did a lot of things I shouldn't have done to you. But this is the end of it. You promised! You promised! Oh, I know, I know. Well, let's get to sleep, shall we? Robbie, Robbie, wake up. The herring fleet's in. We've got a chance. Herring fire! Herring
of him for. It's only my Uncle Robert. You don't believe me, do you? Hey, Uncle Robert, this kid's frightened of you. Hey, come back! <laughs> something wrong, haven't you? Or well, you wouldn't be running away all the time. Frightening my Uncle Robert now, would you? What have you done? Would you like me to fetch my Uncle Robert to you? What have you done? Hey! Hey, that's my dad's folk! Wake up, Robbie. Come on, Robbie, wake up. No room for passengers on this boat. You've got to earn your keep. What do you want for your breakfast now? Eggs, bacon, or sausage? What's wrong, Robbie? What's wrong? Bro. 
wrong with you? Haven't you got a tongue in your head? 